besides everyone's dressed up and we look nice and we put on whatever we could to come on and look presentable, but what you cannot see are the issues that are flowing underneath the current. I promise you, no matter how good she looks, no matter how fly she is, she's got issues. She's got these issues that she's had to learn to live with. I didn't realize that everything that I was thinking was affecting cells in my body. I didn't realize that the things that I was rehearsing was affecting the way that I looked, the way I felt about myself, the way I carried myself, issues in the tissues. I want to be anointed to be seen by my sister. I want my sister to know that I was insecure too, that I was in a bad relationship too. Some people touch Jesus, get the power, and then act like they never had issues. The kind of woman, the kind of woman that I'm trying to connect with to say, you know what, babe, I see you struggling, but let me tell you how I got my healing. I knew how to touch Jesus and then be seen. I wish that there were some women in this room and in this generation and in this world who didn't mind saying, yeah, it looks pretty now, but you should have seen how broke down, raggedy, disgusted, and insecure it was before I put the highlight and contour on. I want you to realize that before I had an incredible husband, I had a raggedy, low down, no good for nothing brothers in my life trying to mess up my self-esteem. I want you to know before I got the job that I had to work at the grocery store and I had to flip burgers. I don't want you to just see me in my heel state. I don't want you to just see Mary. I want you to see Eve because had it not been for Mary, there would be no Eve and had it not been for Eve, there would have been no Mary. What am I telling you? I'm telling you another woman needs to see. I need to see you. I need to see you. I need to connect with you. I'm not going to let you fall. I'm not going to let you fail. You're not going to be around me telling me what's going on with you. And I act like, oh my goodness, I could never imagine. No, girl, I may have not gone through that, but let me tell you what I did go through. And let me tell you how I got healed. And let me tell you how I came out on the other side. I want to have a sisterhood of women who won't let another woman dissolve while you heal her. I want to say over your life that the enemy that you see today, you will not see that enemy tomorrow. I decree every diabolical cycle is broken. And I decree and declare that you are not only coming into new cycles, you are coming into new seasons. I decree all seasons are broken and God is introducing you to a new season. I release the anointing of Esther upon you. I decree that it's not only your time, it is your turn. Because I'm coming from behind and I'm desperate to hear from you. I don't want to just be a church girl. I don't want to just be someone else who knows how to hoop and holler and dance around and goes back home and their life has never been changed. I saw a generation do that before me. I want to be a God agent. I want to be a demon shaking, soul stirring, create something down on the inside of me. I feel like y'all might want to preach a little bit today. God, do something on the inside of me that shakes up every doubt, every insecurity, every fear. I am desperate, God, to stop these issues. Can I just have 10 seconds for the desperate women, for the women who came to be cute? We'll get back to the message in a minute. But can I hear from some desperate women? Make a demand on heaven. Let God know that you're talking to me. I hear you saying something to the woman you created me to be. God, I can't let this thing take over my mind any longer. Loose your hold off of me, Satan. You have no power in my life. Loose your hold off of my family. You have no power in my life. God, give me my heart back. God, give me my mind back. God, give me passion for something other than what I see on Instagram. Put something down on the inside of me that changes this world for the better.